Boston Dynamics just did the unthinkable. They ripped the rug out from under everyone's feet by retiring Atlas One, the groundbreaking robot that had us all in awe. People were heartbroken. The internet went into meltdown. But then, just like that, bam. The next day, Boston Dynamics dropped a bombshell, Atlas Two. This new robot promises to be mind-blowing. We're talking enhanced agility, electric power, and an advanced control system that seems straight out of science fiction. On the face of it, it appears Atlas II is the dawn of the next huge breakthrough in AI robotics. But there's a growing contingent of people out there that are starting to believe Boston Dynamics may be hiding something. What are they hiding, you ask? We're hearing about an ulterior motive for the new Atlas II, a hidden purpose for the Atlas II that you need to be aware of. Archie here, your guide to the world of AI. Now, for this to make sense, for those not familiar with Atlas I, the predecessor robot, let's recap. Imagine a robot that could do parkour. That's basically what Atlas achieved. Its advanced control system and powerful hydraulics allowed it to perform feats of agility that had people online buzzing. It was so impressive. Some were even jokingly saying it deserved the first Robotic Ninja Award, if such a thing existed. Remember that scene where Atlas One navigated a mock construction site with incredible agility? Tossing a bag of equipment. Despite weighing a hefty 81 kilograms, this machine could reach speeds of up to 2.5 meters per second. Seeing it flip, dance, and lift itself with such speed might have made you wonder how it could possibly be so much faster than other robots like Tesla's Gen 2. The secret sauce? 28 hydraulic joints designed for complex whole body movements. That explains why it is such a good dancer, with moves that could make Chris Brown jealous. Now, all these features were mind-blowing. It showcased how AI and humanoid robotics were developing at an alarming, but undeniably cool, rate. Here's the thing, though. It seems the engineers at Boston Dynamics weren't content with just mind-blowing. They like pushing boundaries, and some might say they've gone a tad too fast this time when they retired Atlas I. And guess what? The very next day, they announced Atlas II, a whole new level of advanced robot. And let me tell you, there is plenty to be excited about with Atlas II. The first thing about Atlas II that grabs attention, besides its enhanced agility and strength, is the head. It looks like a nod to Pixar's lamp, and then its impressive omnidirectional movement. That's pretty cool, right? But some folks find the way it stands from a prone position a little creepy, including myself. Here's the thing, though. Atlas might resemble a human form, but its movements prioritize efficiency over mimicking human limitations. This means it can move in ways that would leave us in the dust. Speaking of that omnidirectional movement, Boston Dynamics clearly wanted to show that Atlas II can maintain a humanoid form while pushing the boundaries of bipedal robot movement. This new version is completely redesigned with swiveling joints, making it, according to the company, uniquely capable of tackling those dull, dirty, and dangerous tasks. The overall design leans more humanoid this time around. Similar to robots like Tesla's Optimus, Atlas II boasts longer limbs, a straighter back, and a distinct head that can swivel around as needed. There are no messy cables in sight, and its face even has a built-in ring light it's a clear improvement over Atlas I, and now comes packed with Boston Dynamics' latest AI and machine learning tools. This combination of advanced hardware and cutting-edge software has everyone buzzing about Atlas II's capabilities. Unlike its hulking, hydraulic-powered predecessor, Atlas II runs entirely on electricity. This makes it quieter, more efficient, and potentially better suited for real-world situations. You might be wondering why the switch. Well, electric power just makes more sense for robots that need to be on the go. Electric systems are generally more energy efficient compared to hydraulic ones. This means Atlas II can operate for longer periods without needing a recharge, which is crucial for tasks that require continuous work. Hydraulic systems are also notorious for needing regular maintenance. Fluid leaks, wear and tear, and contamination can all be problems. By ditching the hydraulics, Atlas II cuts down on maintenance significantly, saving both time and money. This increased uptime means the robot can spend more time working and less time on a task. Atlas II boasts a super sophisticated control system that uses real-time data to predict its movements and keep itself balanced. 
Imagine trying to walk on uneven ground or recover from a stumble. That's tough for us humans. Atlas II's control system constantly analyzes these situations and adjusts in real time, allowing it to move with incredible agility and stability. This is a huge leap forward from Atlas I and paves the way for robots to tackle even more challenging tasks in the real world. One area where details are a bit murky is Atlas II's depth perception system. Boston Dynamics likes to keep the technical specs close to the vest. However, based on Atlas I and general advancements in robotics, we can make some educated guesses. Atlas I used a sensor team-up to build a 3D map of its surroundings. Think of LiDAR, a laser sensor that measures distances and creates a point cloud image of the environment. Cameras likely play a role too, providing visual data to identify objects and their positions. Depth cameras add another layer, capturing distance information alongside visuals, creating a richer 3D picture. Inertial measurement units are probably in the mix as well, tracking the robot's movement and orientation to maintain balance and calculate its actions. Atlas II is likely building on this foundation, potentially with more advanced sensors and processing power. This could translate to even more precise depth perception, allowing the robot to understand its environment with incredible detail. While official information is limited, everything points towards Atlas II retaining its bipedal capabilities. I mean, the design choices, with longer limbs and a straighter back, strongly suggest it can still walk and move around on two legs. This makes sense considering Atlas I's impressive agility on the fake construction site. It's likely that Atlas II's electric powertrain and advanced control system further enhance its bipedal movement. The electric motors might provide smoother and more efficient movement compared to the hydraulics of Atlas I. The sophisticated control system, with its real-time adjustments based on sensor data, could lead to even more refined and stable walking. Alright folks, Archie here. And look, Atlas I and II is cutting edge. Could it transform how we interact with AI robotics? Yeah, of course. But that background I just walked you through is super key in understanding why a contingent of the AI world is starting to see use cases for the Atlas robot that, well, frankly, give me concern. The first major concern is using Atlas in military applications. Atlas II's enhanced agility and strength could easily translate into highly mobile combat robots. This raises serious anxieties about autonomous weapons on the battlefield. Sure, putting AI robots on the battlefield is surely better than risking human lives, but these will eventually be fully autonomous robots, thinking and making decisions that they, in that moment, feel is the best course of action. Put an autonomous weapon in their hand? Well, that changes things. And while Boston Dynamics claims their robots are for homes and factories, it's hard to ignore how Atlas I's agility already seem pretty combat ready. Now with Atlas II even more advanced, it makes you wonder if the company has hidden plans for its creation. Maybe it's just the movies messing with us, but the idea of super agile robots with unknown intentions isn't exactly comforting. Also coming from this part of the AI community is the obvious worry with any AI robot. It's the whole advanced control system thing. Atlas II's super smart brain might be learning on its own, which has some folks spooked. The concern is that robots could eventually become unpredictable and uncontrollable. Imagine a robot that decides it knows better than its human operators. Not exactly a recipe for peace and harmony, don't you think? Then there's the whole uncanny valley thing. Atlas II's human-like movements might be impressive from an engineering standpoint, but for some people, it's downright creepy. The idea of a machine that looks and acts almost human is unsettling. It blurs the line between robot and person, raising ethical questions about creating machines that appear too close to us. Now, let's talk about something that hits a little closer to home. Job displacement. With increased automation through robots like Atlas, there's a growing concern that these advancements could lead to major job losses in various sectors. This creates a lot of economic anxiety, especially when you consider Boston Dynamics' track record. Their highly efficient robots are already widely used in industrial and manual labor, boosting productivity but reducing the need for human workers. Many people have already lost jobs due to automation, and with Atlas joining their ranks, the fear of job displacement is very real. Atlas II's impressive capabilities raise a lot of questions about the future of work and our relationship with technology. While the potential benefits are undeniable, increased efficiency, reduced risks for dangerous jobs, the potential downsides are significant too. Will robots like Atlas lead to widespread job losses and economic hardship? Could their advanced capabilities be misused for military purposes? 
and how comfortable are we with machines that look and act so human? These are complex questions with no easy answers. We want to hear from you. Does the rapid development of robots like Atlas signal that Boston Dynamics is pushing the boundaries too quickly? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We're eager to hear from our community on this critical topic in the field of AI and robotics. We'll even respond for the first 10 comments with our own thoughts. So let's keep the conversation going. This is a big deal, and we want to understand your perspectives. Here at AI Nexus, we believe the potential benefits of robots like Atlas II outweighs the anxieties. Imagine robots tackling hazardous jobs in disaster zones, assisting in search and rescue efforts, or even performing delicate maintenance tasks in dangerous environments. Boston Dynamics' focus on adaptable AI could revolutionize industries by automating tedious and repetitive tasks, freeing humans for more creative and strategic roles. So let's embrace the possibilities of this tech while keeping a watchful eye on responsible development. What to tell your friends tomorrow? Archie here. We might be leaning closer to a future where AI-powered robots become a part of our daily lives, don't you think? Atlas II is here, and it's raising the bar for humanoid robots. So get ready for robots tackling dangerous jobs, assisting in emergencies, and even automating tedious tasks. The future of work might be evolving, but AI advancements like Atlas II could be a big help. Want to see another AI development disrupting every industry out there? Then you definitely need to check out this video.